So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this week's Team of the Week suggestions. In this series, we take an early look at the upcoming Team of the Week by reviewing fixtures from the top five leagues and uh, we try and identify some potential informs which could be coming on Wednesday. My full Team of the Week prediction will be out tomorrow night, so do indeed look out for that. If you want to keep up to date with everything that's happening in the world of football, don't forget to check out the sponsors of this series, OneFootball. Their app is free to download and to use, and it can provide you with pretty much whatever you want to know about your favourite team and or players. Um, in the background, as you can see, we're checking up on Haaland, who is... Um, been pretty much on fire since he's uh, joined Dortmund and as you can see his stats are uh, pretty insane. Five goals in like less than one game, that is just absolutely ridiculous. And also his uh, shooting record is at 100% accuracy so that's pretty mad too. Anyway, if you want to check out the app for yourself, check out the link in the description. Okay, so let's jump into things. We start with Aston Villa against Watford. This game ended in a 2-1 scoreline for the home side and it was a late Tyron Mings goal which uh, got the three points for Aston Villa. Could he pick up an inform for that? He certainly could, but I don't think it's too likely to happen. Bournemouth beat Brighton 3-1, and uh, in this game, there were three different goal scorers. Well, technically two. One of them was an own goal. But uh, nonetheless, um, I don't see either of the goal scorers picking up an inform item. The most likely candidate from this game is probably the goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale, who actually made quite a few good stops in this fixture. Everton and Newcastle. Now, this game was pretty insane. Everton had the lead up until, like, the last few minutes. As you can see, the uh, French centre-back, uh, Lejeune, got himself two goals in injury time, which is pretty insane. Now, normally, I'd say draws don't produce informs too often. However, on this occasion, I feel like a draw could produce an inform because this guy came on in, like, the 70th minute, so technically, he didn't concede. So, upon coming on with 20 minutes to go, a centre-back scored twice and didn't concede. That is inform worthy in my opinion, so I think the Frenchman has a good shot at making an appearance in Team of the Week 20 this week. Um, now we move on to the Sheffield United Man City game. Um, this ended in a 1 0 scoreline for the away side. The goal came from Aguero, but um, yeah, a 1 0 win for Man City. I just can't see that producing a special item. One game that should produce an inform is the Southampton Crystal Palace match, which ended in a 2 0 scoreline. Nathan Redmond had a hand in both of the goals scored. He scored one and set up the other. And uh, since one of the content guys at EA is a big Southampton fan, I feel like this one is definitely going to happen. So look out for an inform Redmond in your red picks on Thursday. Chelsea and Arsenal ended in a 2 2 draw. Um. Yeah, back to that comment about draws not producing informs. I can't see an inform coming from this game based on that, despite there being a couple of decent performances from certain players in this game. Leicester beat West Ham 4-1, and uh, there are a couple of potential inform candidates uh, from this match. Um, Harvey Barnes got a goal and an assist. Ayose Perez got two goals, and uh, Ricardo Pereira picked up a goal and an assist, and it's him who I feel like has the best chance at picking up a special item this week, and I hope he does, because his first inform in 2 for 20 is very good. A second inform Pereira would be great to see. Tottenham beat Norwich 2-1. The goals came from Delia Lee and Hyun Min Son. Uh, Sergio Aurea picked up an assist from right back as well, so that's something worth noting. But um, to be honest, just can't see uh, an inform coming from that game. Man United at home to Burnley. The game ended in a 2-0 win for the away side, so a big three points for Burnley. This game probably will uh, result in an inform happening and uh, there are multiple candidates we've got Chris Wood who got a goal and an assist uh, Jay Rodriguez scored an absolute banger of a goal in this match uh, Ben Mee put in a really good performance in the centre back role and Nick Pope made numerous saves in goals so uh, yeah numerous candidates from this game one of them for I feel like will be in team of the week 20 now, there was one more game in the Premier League um, in the past week, and it was on Thursday, and it was uh, Liverpool away at Wolves. And uh, Liverpool won this game late with um, an assist, uh, not an assist, sorry, with a goal from Roberto Firmino. Um, but in this game, Jordan Henderson uh, was the man of the match. He got a goal and an assist, and I feel like he will definitely get an inform item on Wednesday. 
Now we move on to the games in the Bundesliga. On Friday, Borussia Dortmund continued their form by scoring five goals against Cologne. Um, in this game, as you can see, there are multiple potential inform candidates. Obviously, Haaland got himself two goals, but he can't get an inform because he was in last week's team of the week. So we have to look elsewhere. And uh, with that in mind, I think the standout choices are Marco Royce and Jadon Sancho. But also Hummels is definitely in with a shout. I think EA might go for uh, Sancho this week, but um, I could be wrong with that. Nonetheless, do expect to see a Dortmund in form in Team of the Week. Next up, we have Borussia Mönchengladbach, who beat Mainz 3-1. And uh, in this game, as you can see, Alessand Player got himself two goals. So, if you have his headliners card, it could be getting upgraded this week. So, definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, Hertha Berlin beat Wolfsburg 2-1, uh, two different goal scorers in this match. One of them was actually a defender, so maybe he could make it into the team of the week. But uh, as things stand, I think it's unlikely. Frankfurt put two goals past RB Leipzig, and Leipzig had no response. A 2-0 win for the home side, and uh, Kostic got man of the match in this fixture. Could he get an informed flat performance? Maybe, just maybe. Um, Freiburg at home to Paderborn. Paderborn actually got the win in this game. Big 2-0 win for them. Doubtful that they'll pick up a special item this week though. Union Berlin picked up a huge three points at home. And uh, in this game, there are two pretty clear standout uh, potential informed candidates. We've got the goalkeeper who made seven saves and kept clean sheet. And we've also got Subotic who uh, got himself a goal in this game. And I feel like he could pick up an inform this week. It's the first goal he scored in a long, long time, I believe. Uh, finally, the last uh, Bundesliga game to discuss today is the Bayern Munich Schal Schalke match, which ended in a huge 5-0 win for Bayern Munich. And uh, like with uh, a bunch of the previous fixtures, there are numerous candidates for informs that could come from this match. We could see uh, Lewandowski, we could see Goretzka, Muller, Thiago. There are a bunch of options, but I think as things stand, uh, Goretzka probably could be the standout. Over in France, we actually don't have too much to discuss because a lot of the games in Ligue 1 were either low scoring or they'd ended in draws. So uh, I don't think we'll see too many special uh, Ligue 1 items this week. Nice and Stade Rene ended in a 1-1 draw and I don't see an inform coming from that. The same can be said for the game between Marseille and Angers, which ended in a 0-0 draw. Stad Brest beat Amiens 2-1 thanks to goals from Mendy and Cardona, but um, as you can imagine, there doesn't look to be a standout player from this game, so I don't see an inform coming from that match. Uh, one game which could produce an inform is the Monaco Strasbourg game. The away side won 3 1, and uh, there was three different goal scorers, but as you can see, one of the midfielders, Thomason, got a pretty good match rating, and uh, if he gets a good match rating from L'Equipe, the French outlet, then I feel like maybe he could get in. Uh, Montpellier beat Dijon 2-1, um, a goal and an assist from attacking midfielder Mollet could be enough to see him pick up a second in form this week. And with there not being too many league one candidates, I'd say that he's got a pretty good chance as things stand. Mets beat Rem 1-0, uh, the goal came from Diallo, but um, other than that, there doesn't look to be too many standout performances um, in this match. The home side actually had plenty of shots, so maybe one of the Mets defenders or the goalkeeper could be in with a shout. Um, and finally, the last game to be played on Saturday was between Saint Etienne and Nim. Saint Etienne won this game 2-1, and uh, Kazri got on the score sheet twice. In the Premier Spanish division, Osasuna and Levante ended in a 2-0 scoreline. The home side getting the victory thanks to goals from Garcia and Perez. Um, just can't see either of them picking up an inform. Garcia's goal was a penalty and Perez uh, was off the bench. And other than the goal, didn't really do too much else. Espanyol and Atletico Bilbao ended in a 1-1 draw, so I doubt anything will come from that. But the Valencia-Barcelona game probably will produce an inform. And the standout candidate is clearly the goal scorer uh, Gomez, who got himself two goals in this fixture. He actually did miss a penalty in the first half, but two goals, um, yeah, he's going to get an inform. I'll be very shocked if he isn't in the upcoming team of the week. And um, if he doesn't feature, I definitely feel like another Valencia player will. Maybe someone in the defence. I guess we'll have to wait and see on Wednesday. Anyway, moving on, Villarreal beat Deportivo 2-1. Um, two different goal scorers in this game. Carlos Backer actually got himself on the score sheet in this fixture. Um, but uh, I just don't think um, anyone in this game did enough 
to a quite solidify an in-form spot as things stand. Sevilla scored twice in their win against Granada. Goals came from De Jong and Nolito, but it's their left back who I think could be in line to feature this week, getting an assist and also claiming a clean sheet. The final league we're going to discuss in this video is of course the Italian Serie A. Now on Friday, AC Milan beat Brescia 1-0 thanks to a goal from Rebic, but it's the goalkeeper Don Rummer who uh, stands out amongst the AC Milan players. He made 7 saves and kept a clean sheet in this match. Uh, next up, Belonga beat Spau on Saturday, 3 goals to 1. Um, 3 different goal scorers, not one particular standout, so I don't think uh, we'll get an inform from that particular fixture. But one game that definitely could uh, produce a special item is the Fiorentina Genoa game, which ended in a 0-0 draw. And uh, the reason it could produce an inform is because uh, Dragowski put in a pretty big performance. He made 7 saves and kept a clean sheet, and he also saved a penalty, so uh, he's got a very good shot at getting an inform. And uh, the final game to discuss from this league from Saturday is uh, the Torino Atalanta game, and uh, yeah, this this game was just a ridiculous score. And it was like 5 0 in the first 50 minutes, which is just absolutely mad. Ilicic got himself a hat trick, so uh, he could feature on Wednesday. And he's recently just been given a headliners item, I believe. So if you've got that headliners card, it could be getting upgraded as soon as Wednesday, which is uh, pretty crazy. So guys, there you have it. We've just identified a bunch of players who potentially could feature in the upcoming Team of the Week. Obviously, there are still some games to be played tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow's Team of the Week prediction will, of course, cover them. So make sure you check that out tomorrow night. And um, If you could leave a like rating on this video, that would be very much appreciated. In the comments, let me know who you think will get informed this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.